back to Let's Play Live Live. In the last episode, we got these four, three people in our party. In this episode, first things first, we turn back to Familiar Village and go in the store. Once you have cube, you can go into this place. The Intelligence Dungeon. There's no battles in here, so you're safe if you wish to uh, just go in here and get the item. It's very quick, and it's not hard at all. However, it's something of a maze, if I'm not mistaken. The first part is, anyway. Ah, yes, that goes into your, uh, Uranus's house. Welcome to the Labyrinth of Intelligence. I am the Intelligence of Cube. Strength is unnecessary here. Natural thinking and a calm composure will guide your mind to a new level. The chair will connect us from here on out. Speak to the chair and I will come. Alright. That's all you need to know. Go down these stairs. And the first puzzle. The first test lies ahead. Rearrange the red four. First width, then height. Both at last. Yeah, I have no idea what that means, so... <laughs> Let's see. Ah. The red floor changes your movements. It's, it's weird. <laughs> Alright. Left and right are reversed. Up and down are not. Left and right are reversed. Uh, up and down is reversed here. And up and down are not. However, in this one, if I can get up back up there, everything is reversed. Okay, everything is just weird. <laughs> Alright, the easiest way to get up there, down is left, and left is up. Up is right, and right is down. So everything is rotated 45 degrees, no, 90 degrees to the right, if I'm doing this right, hold on. Yes, 90 degrees to the right. All right. This is the chamber of mirrors. Follow your image in the mirrors and a white sphere will guide you, will show you the way. Speak to me if you wish to restart the test. All right. Oh, I see what I have to do. Okay. First, you go right, right, up, 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 left, left, up, and then open the spheres. That's it. That's pretty easy. One of your reflections will guide you forward. The other will lead you astray. Yeah. So follow one of them. I don't remember which. The left one. Follow the left one. No, don't follow the left one. Oh, uh, wait. This is confusing, viewers. It's not exact. Yeah, it's... Let's see. Let's try going this way first. Yeah, it's confusing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'll be back, viewers. Alright, viewers, then we're back. Alright. After checking my guide and my information again. Pay attention to the left one only. So right, up, up, left, up, up. And for the last one, do not trust any of the mirrors. Go in the direction none of them show. So, right, right, up, left, up, up, right, 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 up, up. Now then, this one is pretty simple. Passing ahead is not the only answer. Sometimes, to move forward, you must turn back. In other words, the arrows on the floor tell you which way to go. Just follow the arrows, and that's how you proceed through it. 
Now go back one. Go back another one. And go forward again. And that's the exit. And the teleporter room. Oh, this one. Welcome to the quarter of time. At its terminus you shall ascend. This is the final test. Here too shall the seers guide. In time you shall find understanding. I believe the solution is go clockwise. So go in here first. Then here. Then here. Then here, boom, you're at the end. Oh what? Then you're at the end. Pass through the gate. Climb up the stairs and receive the 17 diode. Cube's ultimate weapon. And we return here at Hash's house, of all places. Equipped onto Cube, it is his best weapon. Look at that IQ boost. Boom! If you remove the nightmare, helmet will be even better. But that's up to you, viewers. Now then, I'm going to cut it here and grind for a bit. I want at least uh, Lee to get to level... What, what, what level is she now? That's a good question. To 12. It shouldn't take too long, viewers. I shall return shortly. Hello, viewers. I just wanted to mention one thing before I continue on. Sunset got quad shot at level 11. And the Shinshan Quan Master got... Fu Sha No Sha at level 11. Alright. Now, actually, I'm going to switch out Cube for one person. Because we don't need Cube at the moment, and since we got his ultimate weapon... Well, we can't level him up, so we'll have to switch him out for someone who can level up. Nikomatos! Best chance to show off Quad Shot! Bang, 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 bang! Ten Musu found! I believe that's a healing item. Let's find out today! Yep, healing item. Okay. Moving on. Oh no! You enemies! Easy. No, I need you to use high speed up. That is also the best healing move in the game, users, compared to Kira's, anyway. Because he heals more people. Cube is basically your healer. He won't be doing anything else. The Kira has some attack, so it, it depends on your tastes. Now then. Ew. Dizzy Shult! Shadow Image! Huh? It's been too long, viewers. Banana Crepe found! Oh, one of Akira's healing items. Now then, we are going to get a certain shadowy character. Sorry for not talking, I forgot that I was recording. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Yes, our character it will be a shadowy character. Sure, Cube is way strong for us at this moment, but we could use someone else in our party besides uh, Cube at the moment. Let's see, Shadow Me. Oh, I noticed everyone's symbol is now uh, the gun symbol because of the fact that I chose my sunset as the party leader. Shadow image, worthless. Do shot right on. All right, moving on. We will be getting Oboro. Spoilers, huh? There's a horse. 
Hmm. You can go that way and follow the horse. But let's not. Let's let's just uh, remember that it's there, viewers. We're not ready for that just yet. Anti-field. Awesome. Here's level 14! It's been splattered with looks like blood and is illegible. I have you now, evil spirits. Huh? Oh, I meant to. Let me say that again. Hold on. <clears throat> Ready yourself. That's better. Abora. Metal Gear. Yeah, he's easy. Just quad shot him. Yeah, he's almost dead. Right on! I am a Boromar of the Amon Ninjas. Shall we join forces? Yeah. Party's full. Remove someone. Yep. Let's remove Cube for now. Now, to get Cube back, you go to the spot where you found him. Ah, the Muramasa. Now, the medicine box is pretty useful. I don't know if it does anything in battle, but the I know that this does. Let's see. Mm, nope. Nope, Genji's armor is the best armor. And Genji's tabby is the only thing you can equip. Alright. Now, we're going to level up a Boro for a bit. So I'm going to cut out here and meet you in a few minutes after I grind up for a while. Later, viewers. Alright, viewers, and we're back. Hi. Ground out, uh... Lee to level 13 and got that move. And now she knows most of the Master's move and is gaining more of her own. Now then. As this cube had a special dungeon, she does too. Her special dungeon is up in that corner. Now then. Oh, Avoro gained a level and got Blade of Wind. Huh! Hua Long Zhang Xing Zi! That's pretty good, actually. Sweet. And the bar just gained a level. And what do you get? Shuzian. Now then, this rock here, which you probably noticed before the last uh, chapter. Inspect it with uh, the Shin Chan Kwan Master in your party. Stand aside! And the rock breaks open. Now lead your party inside. And inside we find rocks. I don't think I can do it. See, once you learn different master's techniques, you can open them with Lee. Depending on which ones you know. Now, I don't remember which one opens what, so let's try this one. Yep, that worked. So that was you on that one. Oh, you. Sunset. I've been waiting. Yeah, let's kill him. You wonderful man. That's kind of frightening. Let's use charge techniques for everyone else besides Aboro. Wow, this guy has a lot of HP. There we go, thank gosh. Alright, we got an Alice Biscuit from that. Freep. I saw that, right? Yep. In here we have an item. Goddess Gauntlet. A new armor for her. It's awesome. Most of the armor you'll get in here is for the... Inheritor. Now these open pathways are ways back, if I'm not mistaken. And each has this creepy mat. So, you know, 
Let's just try to get out of here. Let's try to get to the end first. Let's quick save state outside of here. I just wrote over my save thing. This rock. This one uses a different technique. Now, each of the techniques, they're going to be at least one, the ones that you learn from the master. And the fact that you can break it is a good thing. Just keep trying. Because it's not the right technique. It's probably this one. No, not that one. There we go. Perfect. Now go inside. And fight this guy again. Ugh. I just cut it out, but it's... No. There we go, perfect. Alright. And here we hit the mermaid bottom. You know what that means. She's now a mermaid. Ha <laughs> fantasies. Anyway. Moving on. Leads us into here. Now then, there's only one rock to break in here. As usual, let's try... Lao Hu Ji Wu on it. Perfect! And here is the final battle. I think he's a lot harder in this one. So let's save and fight him! Or try to get around him! Haha, <laughs> I got the Master's Nunchaku! Quickly, 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 let's equip that onto her. Oh my god, look at those stats. Beautiful. Now then, to remove him utterly from this place, you must fight him here. Sunset. I've been waiting. Uh, are you angry? Yeah. Ehoy! And we fight the boy's heart as a boss. He is much harder now. Maybe not. Stop calling me a young man. Stop calling her a young man. Yes, please stop calling her a young man. Right on! And now he's dead for good. We will never see him again in this dungeon. And because he's dead, now we can pick up the rest of the items that we left behind. So let's pick them up, shall we? Mostly repeats. Except for that bow blood. I'll look into that later. Yes, if we didn't uh, destroy him, we'd have to fight him in each of these rooms. Oh my god, it would have been so annoying. That's why I decided just to get there, get the nunchaku, and kill him, and then be able to rob this place of its treasures. Oh, clack case. Go up here. And in here is that holy water. Well, oh, then that door in the middle is the last door we haven't been into just yet. Now then, those unbreakable rocks can only be broken by the ultimate technique, the Shin, Shan, Yan, Quan, Shan, Lian, Pan, Jan, Fran, Shana, Bobama, Boom, Bang, Shabana. You know, the Master's Ultimate Technique that I can't remember the name of it for. The name the, for the life of me. But yeah, any unbreakable rock is probably going to be broken by that. Ice Helm? Nice. Garbage, but nice. It's nice to get a helmet that's better than what I have. Holy Water. Yeah, most of these items will probably be repeats, but I'm going to show them anyway. So I'm a cool bro like that. 
And these blocked ones only lead to the third thing, and we already have everything from those, so we'll just ignore them. Only the unopened ones we want. So like this one. Uh, unblocked ones, I meant. Charioto boots. Or Chario boots or something like that. I don't know. Golden hairpin. Uh, it's probably for Lee. And here is the... Thick chest hair. That's obviously for Lee. Oh, God. No, viewers. No, pretend I didn't say that. Oh, God, that hurt. It's hurting me. And dynamite. Now then, we'll leave this dungeon. That's all for this episode, viewers. In between this one and the next, I'll probably be grinding. A lot. I'm trying to forget that fearful image I put in my head. That's after I inspect the rest of this cave. Yep, okay, that's it. Later, viewers.